Good Monday afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. I only did three videos last week again for Spire. It's it's like a new pattern that I hate. <laughs> but I'm owning up to it. I mean, it's just the truth. Like, once the Thursday rolls around, like, dude, I made it to the end of the week. What do you want to do towards the end of the week? You just want to relax. I get home on Thursday, make myself a quesadilla on a wheat tortilla. Don't at me. It's the better of the tortillas. Just like wheat bread is the better of the breads. And you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to kick up my feet, relax, and watch someone else play a game. And that's what I did. This weekend, though, mm, played some Borderlands 3 with the boy, Rod, and some of my other friends. A good time. So if I had to make an excuse, that was a big piece of it. The other piece was rendering legitimately eight hours of footage. I'm not even joking. Like, I actually rendered together eight, out of, eight hours of footage. I'm not even... No, you know what? I, this is my excuse today. I'm giving a valid excuse. Where is it? Where is it? Vegas render Is it that? Is this the right window to capture? Hold up. Risky click. It's not capturing. I assure you, time was spent doing something productive. Hey, there it is. Yeah. Time was spent something productive. Look at this shit. You see all these little fucking tabs here? This took forever. You know how long this took to render? Twice as long. And then how long to upload? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I did something productive. By the way, this is like the babiest rendering I've ever done in my life. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming because there were people that put way more cool effects in there that I can only imagine one day I'll be able to do. Me trying to make a smoke flare takes like 30 minutes. I'm like, dude, this is not worth my time. So that's where I was this weekend. And when you're rendering it, just, you know, TLDR. What, why, what does rendering have to do with playing games? You can't use your computer when you're rendering. You can't. It, it takes up everything, at least mine, because it's not that great. Anyway, let's play Slay the Spire. Obtain a random rare card, 100 gold, 21 damage for a random rare relic. That seems pretty good. I'm going to do it. Okay, watch. We can make it work. And yeah, you know, that's like mostly a bit whenever I get like this hypey voice, like, this is what I was doing, don't be mad at this place, Slay the Spire, because one, I don't need to just myself, justify myself for not playing a game, but it's like, yeah. I like to defend myself. Maybe that's just like a a deep-seated piece from like my childhood. It's like you must always be defending yourself, Tim. Nothing is without reason. Always validate anything that happens. It's like, dang, dude, chill. It's just a video game. <laughs> and that person needs to chill is you because you're the one getting all hypey over it. It's like, dang. Dang brain, you're right. So where were we with the Watcher? We're losing still. We're getting better. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, was it a huge throw last time? There was a throw recently, like a very big throw. I don't quite remember when it happened, but it definitely occurred. Yo, some miracles would be nice, but I'm looking for some extra damage. There it is. We got two good retain cards in this lineup right now. We need to get to that fireplace so that flaming elite can just work right off because we do not need that in our life. An eruption here into a flying sphere next turn. How about a flying sphere this turn? Here, down to 13. Good. This is a good run. This is a good start. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling fly. I'm feeling ready to get a George here. How was today? Today was Monday. Reset to the work week. <laughs> Today was actually fine. I was talking to this about my coworker because we go out for lunch on, um... We pretty much go out for lunch on uh, Mondays. He's like, yo, my treat. And she's like, dude, I feel bad. I'm like, don't feel bad, dude. I budget for this because you're like one of the few people here that definitely keeps me coming back to work. You need to know... I need you to know you're appreciated. And you know what? Some Cafe Rio on Mondays, no problem with me. Skinny Fats next week, though. Yum, yum. I don't think you can add someone for skinny fats, because that's actually, like, a very good choice. It, you want to eat like a slob? Go for the fats. You want to eat, you know, super health conscious? Go for the skinnies, although most of the skinnies aren't that good. Save for, like, a few drinks, I think. Personal opinion. But today was fine, but it, I don't know. It, I'm trying to think of a way, to, like, to phrase this without making it sound, like, really bad. Um... I just don't like being at work. I guess that's that sums it up. It's like a lot of people, right? Some days you're feeling it, some days you're not. Today, I really just wasn't feeling it. I'm like, dude, I kind of just want to go home. And it's not like I'm upset at, that I'm at work here. We're going to try and push this, by the way, because we can get a kill here with a good line. <laughs> There's some days, though, you're sitting in the office, you're like, dude, I just, I don't want to <laughs> be here. <laughs> I'm not sick anymore. I don't know why I'm coughing right now. It's just like some air in my throat. <clears> throat> I'm feeling much, much better. So much so I will still hydrate. Give, give me, give me a second. Oh yeah, brother, that's the good stuff. Uh, place on my headphones. Who cares? But yeah, today was totally fine. But it's just one of those days where, like, dude, I don't even want to be here. And does that mean, Tim, you got no work done? Dude, I got everything done. I'm within 24-hour turn times. I'm a goddamn beast. 
I'm reminded by that by my boss. I'm like, you know what? A pat on the back is nice, but you know what else is nice? A pay raise. And it's not her fault that I don't get a pay raise. We're all like mandated by big business, but hey, welcome to America. But it's, it's just one of those days where I'm like, yeah, everything's fine. But at the same time, it's like everything kind of sucks. Had a little bit of like a, a mental weekend. I'm attacking the wrong target. Whatever. It was a little bit one of those like mental weekends I really get to thinking it's like, alright. It's like if I ever wanted to like stabilize my <coughs> situation, like live on my own, etc. etc. There's no feasible way for me to do that. Uh and that sucks. And I cause I make again, I make decent money in my job, but it's like, dang, is this the situation my country's in where I still could not sustain myself even with a decent living? The answer is yes. It's unfortunately like the hardest yes that you have to like swallow every day of your life, but yeah. Well, that's like mentally what's going on in my head, otherwise, perfectly fine. I'm ready to play some video games here, and we're doing very good on this run at the moment. P good, even. P good. So it has to be asked, like, would I have a Cafe Rio today? Dude, I had the grilled chicken quesadilla. They didn't let me put any hot sauce on it for some reason. The dude I was talking to was, like, talking about, like, some Adventure Quest game on his phone, which I totally related to because I played that shit in middle school. He's like, yeah, me too, dude. Now I can play it on my phone. I'm like, ah. <laughs> a fellow gamer, how do you do? But you didn't put any hot sauce on my quesadilla, dude. I'm like, come on, man. I want some hot sauce. Windmill strike? We have a lot of retain damage here. I could go for some retain blockage right now. If we get something that can uh, retain some blocks, that'd be swell. Curse? It's pretty bad. It's extremely bad, but that's a lot of Skrilla. We're going to greed a little bit on this run. That's exactly what the curse is, though. It's, you know, it's greed right there. Other things, I'm not going to admit some of the other games I'm playing because my friends already laughed at me for me, but I'm playing some other games that don't require much thought and it's a very nice time. You can There's a list of things that I've been like watching and doing lately. You can probably figure it out. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to be judged. And it's, it's not like a, it's not like some port game or something. Ow. Totally bought my hand. It's just a game where... It's a game that has like a stigma behind it. It's like, this is going to be your life now, huh? It's like, no, you, you fool. I have a job. I must go to work the next day. I don't have the means for that. And by my, me saying that, like sort of boil it down you can imagine what it is at this point i don't want to take damage here so we're looking for an out yeah that's an out thank you thank you a lot so i was doing that on top of the rendering though the rendering was really like the me kicking myself to essentially do work let me tell you it's a real pain in the ass when you're sitting there like dude i want to use my computer but it's like i'm sorry you wish for this video to come out in high quality you must Bend the knee. I'm like, alright, I'm bending the knee. By the way, if anyone's ever out there messing with Vegas and you're, like, looking at your recording come back and, like, it makes it look like hot garbage, take a look at the game. That's one reason why, uh, I sort of stem back on, like, how high quality I'm trying to push, because I could render at, like, some very high amounts, or bit rates, I guess is the right word. Definitely not worth my time, because the game I'm messing with ultimately is, ultimately, speak good English here, it's Borderlands 3 with Rod, of course, and my friends. That game's got so much shit going on, like, if you even find a way to render it halfway decent, like, you've done it. Because there's so much shit going on, the thing gets so grainy no matter how high you crank the resolution, it doesn't matter. As long as people are able to see, like, your level, some of the combat text, they can hear the game fine, who fucking cares? It's ultimately how I bolted it down for myself so I would stop spending hours upon hours, you know, looking at the footage and being like, it sucks! It fucking sucks, do it again! And it's like, ah, 30 minutes, takes two and a half hours to render it, still looks like shit, it's like, dang, dude. How do professionals do this? This shit, su this shit sucks. Yeah, overall good weekend, and TwitchCon was this weekend, I guess, if we want to sum up the other events. I was watching some of the GDQ Express. As as it is, like, GDQ in general is always, like, my go-to. And yes, if anyone wants to ask, I will be taking a vacation for it again in January. And yes, I'm aware there's an application I'm supposed to be filling out so I can actually become a volunteer and fly out to Florida, but the anxiety is still there. I'm like, oh, man, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm just an awkward person that plays video games. Don't know if I want to go out in the world and meet people. And it's like, Tim, just go do it. Just go do it. Does this mean I'm going to do it? Uh, no, it's still probably a no. But I'll push myself. I'll try to, at least. So yeah, GDQ Express this weekend. It's a good time. It's always a good time. Lots of good runs came up. Was not disappointed for watching. Not at all. We can bop you right now. 20... Maybe better to bop you long term. This is, uh, 36. So we have enough to kill you. I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to... Miracle out the flying sleeves here. Put him in a good position. 20 damage even is blocked out. We just got a blow on him, and he's dead. Very good. Floor's been going just fine. Wheel kick, I uh, still don't know. Because <laughs> drawing cards doesn't really help me. Like, 90% of the time, it's not going to help me. It's also too expensive. 
if we get some, um, hmm, some options that, uh, synergize with it, like some draw, some way to make it cheaper, Necronomicon even, could be good. <coughs> Taking two big, uh, watts of air here, it's causing my, uh, my coffin fit to kick up here. Make you something more vulnerable? Yeah, we could use that if we're utilizing Wrath Form properly. Yo! What a nice event to cap someone off the floor. That's a very good round and out right there. Happy that happened. Gonna upgrade wall up here when we get a Wrath off for 26. That's gonna be a solid amount of damage and block. You'd be happy to have it. You'd be a fool not to have it. Doing that so we can crush his joints, because then the next... No, it doesn't matter if we crush his joints, actually. Just realize that. It doesn't mean shit. So here you go for a strike into the flying sleeves. That's good. We have two protects held over. <coughs> you wallop. Huge block. You sash whip. Don't even have to worry about it right now. I could halt for free, and I'm going to. It's a dominance play. And you know what? Continue to start dominance. We're cruising right now. Flying Sleeves is going to come out here in a second. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. Everything is still fine. 16 twice is a lot, arguably. Hmm. Continue to retain that up here. So we can go for... 24, 816... 40 damage. And we'll more than likely be able to push him... 32 HP, it's most of our HP. I'm still gonna go for it. It's an extremely aggressive push, but it, it feels... It feels down on the plums like it's the right choice. And case in point right here, we still got a lot of damage flying our way. So how about you go for a basic strike, because we can play this on the next turn, and then go for the push. Stop him from killing you, of course. 18, you hate to see it, but then you got a wallop. You wallop him, and then you could sash whip him. So you take no damage again, and we just kill him next turn. Holy fuck. Hey, get a load of this guy. He's gaming. Yeah, this guy right here. Hasn't played the game in like a solid five days. Look at him go. That's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. Is this official art? It's starting to look a little bit more official. Yeah, the the eyes there are not the most official. But again, I, I love the art here, because... Like, you just look at it, right? Love Omniscience. Brilliance. Heal 3 HP X times. Yo. That's really good. And if we get Chemical X, that's a full heal. Three miracles. You'd love to see it. I'll take it. It's essentially like uh, the energy relic that we want to use in a pinch, and most of the time you're not going to be rotating in fights too long, ideally. This is bad against boss fights, but this is good against the, uh, the common foe. Okay... Okay, I see a triple fireplace, lots of question marks, no guaranteed shop if I take that path. I'm willing to risk it. Okay, we can also go for a, a double fireplace, which is a triple fireplace with a shop capstone. Just gotta take on an elite early on. I'm feeling confident. This is a good place so far. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. You can hold on the windmill strike here, get this retained up to a high quality wallop, and then we'll unleash the beast. And you may as well be popping these here. Reduce the artifacts. Extra damage, also nice. Immune! I forgot I had the turn up. This is so good. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. This is only for unblocked damage. So what do you do? You erupt. And then you flying sleeve, and then you give him a wall up. And then he's dead. Duplication potion, welcome aboard, lad. Empty body. This is definitely official art. This has been revamped, and I love it. Follow up. I love it less. Swivel, it's still not official art, because this is the meme. I don't know what meme it is, like, laser eyes, oh my wish, you know, and then, like, you know, loud laser noise, you know the one. Gaining a level blo 11 block and the next attack is zero, that's pretty good. Eight block on its own, less good. This more or less lets you play, like, a, an additional attack for free. In conjunction with Wallop, or some of these other cards I have, that's actually not bad. And we can also synergize that with a better, higher costing card as well, like Ragnarok. Online. So we're going for an aggressive play here. This is mostly to bring his armor down as much as I can early on. So now we have no extra energy for the rest of the turn, but we're gonna be able to, you know, chop him down ever so slightly, a little bit quicker. So we'll erupt. 
We'll swivel, we'll crush his joints, and then we'll block. We're gonna do 18. I could double this here. Let's hold off. We can double this on a higher hitting card. That's gonna be oh, it's ethereal. Fuck, that's right. Hey, Tim, it's ethereal. Just thought I'd remind you. Thanks, brain. Hey, you gotta, you gotta spend money. <coughs> <coughs> Very sorry. Okay, that one was a <coughs> a sudden burst. What the hell? I've been fine all day. You gotta spend money to make money. Very sorry about that one. Jesus Christ. Like, it actually, like, I just salivated on my arm with that. Like, you know, this is what you want to hear right now after someone just hacked into your ear. Uh, ultimately, we're fine. Okay. Flying Sleeve's here. Yes. Let's go. 36. So you can Sash Whip him. I like it. And then you can just, uh... Take 27 damage because you didn't take the time to count it out. And now I am depressed. We have lost all of our HP. One Brilliance will heal his back up, but... A little cheese that I let that happen. Upgrade all strikes in the fence, thank you very much. We're looking for a heal here. Okay, Vigilance out the gate is pretty good. Flying Sleeves is gonna hang out for a minute. Too many Miracles means we got to spend cards. It's a use it or lose it moment. Alright, here you go. Heal for nine. Then you block. Then you block. <coughs> we'll get there. Okay, the, the strength up definitely sucks, but we'll get there. To eruption into Sash Whip, into Flying Sleeves, into you're still gonna be alive, huh? No, we can get you. Barely, but we can get you. Uh, yeah, huge turn for Wallop. So you Wallop in there, you deal another 18 here. Take no damage, we're cruising. And we got a good heal out of it. Alright, liking it. We could use a uh, stance exiting mechanic, because uh, we're entering Wrath a lot here. It's not ideal at all points in time, but it's pretty useful. Transform two cards. Let's get jaxed. Another means of scaling, so if we enter Wrath form, it's going to hit that much harder. This fight's going to suck. Let's throw it on the table right now. This is going to be very bad extremely bad. Like, I don't even want to be here right now. It's so bad. Shit. Okay. So we can get 27 blocked by throwing everything at the wall here. It's gonna get worse, though. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Get ready for it. So you gotta swivel here. This is for a whopping 8 damage, huh? Not what I would call the, uh, the best of plays. We gotta go, we gotta let this, uh, cook up so we can get a good one-shot off of it. Which is going to be right now, actually. Yeah, 15 damage twice. So what you do do... Is you erupt on... Hmm. We're gonna erupt, right? The question is who. 11, 22... 12, 24, that's a kill right there. We're going to end with Empty Fist. You're going to double up on the big guy, so he's done. And then you're going to Empty Fist your way out of here, like so. And you're just going to pop one of these and get the block? All right, situation has been handled. It was spooky, but it's been handled. Hit him, hit him, love him. Okay, we're fine. Had to spend all of our potions to make the dream happen. Very true. So now they're looking totally fine. This is more card draw, but we, we don't... The card draw doesn't really work out. I mean, we could use the holy water with it in some cases, but I don't think sanctity is the right choice. Cut through fate. I'll give it a shot. Let's keep ourselves sustained up. So this is good. Almost to the shop, we got 500 gold to spend, so if everything goes well, we'll get a nice free fireplace. Yes. And then... Yes or no? Healing's important, but this fight is a bitch. So I think we'd rather try and get through the fight quicker rather than uh, let it stall itself out, and then we lose horribly. 
So Vigilance into Empty Fist is actually huge. Extra energy is nice. Not taking damage, also nice. Looking for a good Wrath form turn, and this is the turn. This is a hundred percent turn. <laughs> Listen, I've been fine all day, I assure you that. It sounds like I'm quiet because I'm leaning away because I don't know if a fit's going to come up again. There's no coughing to be had, I'm not sick. Just, I'm just, I'm, I'm taking a big whoo, Talking for a long period of time, which I arguably, arguably didn't do today. Arguably. It's worse slurring out of my mouth like I'm drunk or something. There's no reason for me to be hacking around right now. I'm fine. Yo, Vajara. We got a run here today. No, I, just because we have a run doesn't mean you got to put me in the goddamn arena. This is bullshit. This is bull and only. Okay. So it's a fine opener. The windmill strikes Dana around is good for the chain damage burst. Combat? Yeah, yeah, we like combat. So we'll go for one of these. I'm gonna go for the block play. That's what we want. And we can make it pop, so you know what? We're gonna make it pop here. It was the worst popping you can imagine, because I, I did everything wrong. I used the wrong scry card because I thought that was the one that was going to let me draw something, and it turns out it wasn't the one that was going to let me draw something. I look like a giant fool, but we still made it out of there. Run. Run. Run and heal. <laughs> the game is slowly beating my ass. We're still doing fine. We're chugging along. This is not the shop, so we can double up. Love that. Absolutely love that. Yes. That's a, that's a grab. Ooh. Start your third turn, gain 18 block. Oh, well, that's interesting for sure. I'll grab it. And then we'll grab a duplication potion. And I've spent all my money before I even got to the shop, so... We'll take on the extra elite then. And this potion will be used to, you know, push ourselves ahead for even more damage. I like it. First turn, first instance of damage is free. Let's go. You do have to empty fist for... No, you can empty fist... La no, you want to empty fist... Yeah. Because we don't want to exit the form. We're holding on to this for big damage. Okay, my hand was clearly too large. So we're gonna double up on this. This is the correct play. Chug one of those there. Plop that on the table, assert dominance. Sash whip. We're not taking any damage. I could spend all of this to get some healing right now. Don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna let it fade away by doing that. Three miracles in my pocket, it's good. 18 block for free, also good. Somehow we're not taking any damage at all. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just take that card, thank you. And then we'll... Flying Sleeves, holy fuck. I could have prevented that damage. But still, very good. And we got Wing Boots out of it, which is quite nice. Crush Joints plus, a lot better. So many empties right now. Empty mind, empty body, empty stance. Take another crush joints. Mystery machine is a free heal. Yes, I will take the heal so I can get a nice upgrade out of this. Because the cards it could have given me might have been like some of the best cards of my life. I might be kicking myself right now that I didn't take them. But I have windmill strike. This thing can amp itself up and we can use it as a one shot on this individual or one of his minions. Either or. Getting jacks, obviously. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dude. So, plus three strength. My strength, my strength's already hitting for 12. That's as about, it's about as good as it's going to get. Okay. So we want to kill one of these individuals before they do something heinous. So what do we got right now? We got 12... 14, 28. Not enough to get a kill outright, so we will still push, because we gotta get rid of these guys. You, 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 and then we'll toss one of those up right there. 14? That's acceptable. Highly acceptable for the opener. You can keep it. I, I don't need any more retained cards at the moment anyway. So I will Vigilance, Empty Fist to get the extra energy. 
Swivel, so we can play Crush Joints for free. We'll take no damage. And we're retaining some very high-quality cards, should this guy want to Kamehameha Wave, and look at that. He totally does. Sash Whip needs to come out. Protect needs to come out. That's a fine threshold of damage, and I'd rather hold on to these for a more of a urgent situation. Good. We're going to be entering Wrath form here, which is scary to think of, but I'm willing to take it on. So you crush, you erupt. Get your card back. Let this let this ride. We'll get wall up next turn, which is very This is technically correct, so uh, let it be. Huge turn for Halt. Very good turn for Flying Sleeves. Into the wall up for 32. Uh, I'm... Hmm. I'm, I appear to still be dead. <laughs> I appear to still die. Hmm. 13. We're at, we're at 90... 95. So our best chance of survival is doing exactly this. And I think... Yeah. Just barely. <laughs> Woo! Is my best shot really going to be letting this continue to cook? I think it is. Hilarious enough, I think that is the best shot I have. Yeah, no, we got to let it cook. Wait a minute. Yes. No. We would need Wallop. No, because this is a hundred right now. We're so fucking close. If I cut through fate, is there anything that saves me? Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina actually saves me. Because right now, we're looking at it, right? So bear with me here. We're doing some analysis. 100 damage, 30 damage. We could swivel, get 8 block, with people can do. Play this for free. And this is basically like playing this for free. We just get the 8 block, so it doesn't do anything. So we have 130 damage, 15 short. If we play this, and we get Deus Ex, we'll get two, two more miracles to my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll get the. If we get. Basically, that's it. If we get that, then we win. Otherwise, we're fucked. Entering calm will not save us either. So, gotta get it. You were close. Man. God damn it. I have mixed feelings about this character because I'm not doing like a grind session here because the runs can vary from either like I die here, which feels like ascension mode, even though it's regular mode, or I do another one and it goes on for an hour and then it's like, dude, you're throwing off the rest of the schedule. So I'm actually going to have to call it here. If I got some time later tonight, I will be doing another one. Just because I feel like this is robbing anyone of wanting to watch actual Slay the Spire content and not Broader Lands, which I understand. But damn. We still have an unlock to go, so like... <laughs> it's been a slow grind with this character. Regardless, thanks for watching. Uh, fuck, dude, if I just saved a miracle, we could have won. Oh, man, it's going to eat away at me for the rest of the evening. I'm going to play some more Borderlands by myself this afternoon. Evening, whatever we want to call it. 6 p.m. PST or maybe a little bit sooner. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you all tomorrow, maybe later tonight, for the next one. Take it easy, everybody.